All right, round two, and remember, we are the white deck now. We're now we're a Boros Imminent Doom deck, presuming that we're going to need a better aggro match, I'm assuming. Uh, well, as much as I'd love to keep this, we have one land, so it seems dangerous, and I think we're going to mulligan. This one, on the other hand, is a keep. We do have the Imminent Doom, one of many. One of two, actually. Uh, so... This hand still needs quite a bit of, I guess, gasoline to go, but let's see what we... You know, there's our one drop. We're keeping that on top for sure. So, cool. All right, now we just need a land, and we get to go Doom into Faithful Archer, possibly kill some things. Some stuff and things, as it were. All right. Uh, yeah, wait, wait, wait. Make sure we're not using colored mana here. Very good. Hmm. I guess that does actually prevent me from killing it. So we can actually cast a four drop here. Because if I go Faithful Archer, we don't get to deal with this, but Magmaroth's a big threat. I think we're going to cast it. Hurts our chain a little bit, but it's a big threat. Maybe it'll get bounced. Who knows? Maybe they'll play out some things so we can get some value. Kefnet's last word. Well, that's scary. So, all right. Now we can start going off a little bit. So I guess we go faithful, lose a life. Unfortunately, lose a life. One of them, because we can't kill anything. And then we go Archer. And two to them, because once again we can't kill anything. Hmm. I think we're taking six here. I'm say not thrilled about that, but okay. Hmm. It's a bit difficult, because I think they're going to have, with five cards in hand, they're going to have a spell. So let's probably just play the Scrapper and deal three to them, I guess. Unfortunately for us, they've managed to stay precisely out of the way of our uh, imminent doom. But here at least I can block with a God Pharaoh's Faithful and... It's not as big a deal.
Blur of Blades on our Archer. All right. So we got a nine. And I suppose we do probably try and chump here. I'd like to rip a four drop. Puncturing blow would be phenomenal. I don't think we can afford to take seven though. So we get the fifth land, which means we can. If I if I don't uh, exert here, I take him to ten, which means if I do exert and draw a fling next turn, I still can't kill him, can I? Not quite. I think we're going to die to a removal or a bounce here. Alright, so we'll go to game two here. And the question is, do I want to keep it with this version or move to the black version? I still think actually the white version is better here. God is Faithful is typically at its best in matchups like this where they just tempo us out, but we did just lose. Too bad we didn't have the fling in response to their spell. That would have been nice. That's all right. So I think we'll just keep it the same and try her again. All right, we'll play first. And yeah, I guess we keep this. Hmm. This is interesting. Still don't really want to cast the Faithful on turn one, in case we rip the Imminent Doom. Alright. So we have one, two, three. Maybe it's time now to cycle the Desert Ceradon to dig for our Imminent Doom. I kind of like that. I guess I could have done it to the Titan too, but... Oh, well, we have one, two, three, four. Now we just need Imminent Doom. So now I can play the Faithful because we have the Crash Through to start our chain. Could cycle the Granitic Titan once again, digging for that uh, one of our two imminent dooms. I mean, we really want to get this chain going right now. This is a really nice chain. So, do I want to, or should I just struggle that? I should probably just kill it. Otherwise, I'm going to get afflicted every turn. Hmm. So, well... If they have Cartouche, I want them to cast it. So we're losing a little bit of our chain here by doing this, but ultimately I think it's worth it. Okay. So we're going to get afflicted, unfortunately. 
So I played to get rid of the cartouche. They had the counter. Unfortunate, but what can you do? What can you do, folks? When they got the goods, they got the goods, don't they? Alright, so now we can puncturing blow this. And unfortunately for us, the chain is done. We have lost our chain. I wanted it so badly, too. That's okay. Mm, all right, blazing volley. All right, well, this insider we can crash through now because we have another one drop. All right, so I guess we can cast Granitic Titan at some point. Let's see if they have the Electrify. I guess I'll trade a Faithful for whatever. Mm. Yeah, it's less good for us, but that's all right. So, we're just going to dig for that Kefnets thing and probably steal our Titan. Alright, it's a big threat. So, we're going to hold off on the renunciation for now. And take six. Well, that's good. Be nice if they pre-combated something, but I'm not going to hold my breath on that one. So we'll tap their two guys. And I guess just deal two to them. Not so exciting. All 
Alright. Punching blow off the top would not be the worst, even though I'd have to do it in kind of a weird little order. So I guess we'll do Kenra... Um, so our insider is not going to be able to attack, so we're going to have to farm to market the Ceridon. And the problem is if we kill the striker, they're going to be able to bring it back, but I think that we do that anyway. Prevent some damage here. So kill that. Kill this. So, puncturing blow would be nice. Do have another one in here? So now we chump the striker and go to two. We'll see in round three, my friends.